Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today I have a keto video for you guys and this one is a blood glucose ketones test. I have an entire playlist of these videos where I check my blood glucose and ketones to see if something knocks me out of ketosis or spikes my blood sugar. That way you'll know how you could possibly react. Let me just throw this little disclaimer in there. It is best that you test yourself because everyone reacts differently to certain foods. If you're not already subscribed, to my channel I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family make sure you hit the notification bell so every time I upload a video you'll be the first to know also make sure you go join my Facebook group all things keto with Christy I'll have that linked in the description box for you all you have to do is click the link and it'll take you directly over to the Facebook page it's an amazing group lots of information recipes and encouragement without the keto police I have an Instagram boom it'll be right here you can go over there and check it out i do post in my stories daily now for the moment you all have been waiting for what are we testing today we are testing one of my favorite little treats and this is the slim fast keto it's got to be keto it has the word in it right here right the slim fast keto fat bombs this one is the caramel nut clusters and it just so happens to be my favorite out of the variety i think there are either four or five they have a mint they have a peanut butter cup but this one i absolutely adore and so does my 11 year old so let's discuss all the information that is in these first of all it says free of gluten artificial sweeteners flavors and colors and of course it's obviously keto I mean, it's right here in the title. This is a 14 count box. Each one comes individually wrapped. Let me show you how they look right here. And they are two net carbs each. Now let's go over the ingredients and macros in this one, just in case you're interested. These are 80 calories a piece with six grams of fat, two protein, two net carbs, and 10 total carbs. Your ingredient list consists of caramel, and then it breaks down everything that's in the caramel. So we got inulin, soluble corn fiber, glycerin, water, palm kernel oil, cream, milk protein, concentrates, butter, soy lecithin, natural flavors, MCT oil, it's got stevia leaf extract. Your chocolate coating, which is over top of this, is chocolate, erythritol, inulin, cocoa butter, milk, soy lecithin, vanilla, salt, stevia leaf extract. And then your last ingredients are peanuts. These are easily accessible, meaning you do not have to order them online, although they are available on Amazon, I think, for a few pennies cheaper than other places. I know they have these at Walmart, grocery stores, big lots. You can find them everywhere. Slim Fast does have an entire keto line of products. They have drinks, shakes, meal bars, snacks, and keto support products. I have read the ingredient list on the majority of these other products, and I'm not gonna lie, they are questionable, and I really don't feel that they fit into my everyday keto life. Unlike these, they seem like they're safe, but we're gonna find out today, aren't we? Now let's talk about what we are testing on and I'm using the Keto Mojo. The Keto Mojo is the one I use because it is a blood glucose and ketones monitor. You can order this online. I'll have the link below for you. So if you want a discount and you want to order one of these, all you got to do is click on that and it'll take you directly over to the site. If you don't need a blood glucose and ketones monitor in one, I do have a discount code for the Keto Coach. It'll be below and all it does is test your blood ketones. So if you want to know if something's kicking you out of ketosis or where your numbers are, that would be a good one as well. Now, before we get started with this test, I think I need to explain a few things to you guys. And this is taken directly from the Keto Mojo website. And it says, I put this in every single video just so you guys have a little bit of information. Generally speaking, you don't want your blood sugar to spike more than 30 milligrams from your baseline or your fasting blood glucose. And ideally, your blood sugar should return to baseline within two hours. If it doesn't, you may have an insulin response to that food and may consider reducing or eliminating it from your diet. Okay? So that is from their site. This is not something that I made up. 
we do not want our blood glucose to spike over 30 milligrams so that's what we're checking for today okay let's go ahead and get started with today's test you guys know this routine by now okay so let me show you the time we got 8 37 and this is going to be my fasting blood glucose not gonna lie I've not really been awake that long probably around 37 minutes um, but I usually like to try to wait a little longer than this before I test just in case we have that whole dawn effect going but we'll see so first thing we're gonna do is I've already washed my hands then I cleaned my finger with alcohol let that dry I'm not gonna use the first blood if you want to do more research on that you can but what we're gonna test first thing this morning is my blood glucose level okay here we go oh first shot 79 apparently the dawn effect is no longer chasing me around like it was before I used to get up really early and my blood glucose would be almost a hundred sometimes even a little above but now I think it's finally settled down 79 is normal for me okay now let's check the ketone levels and see where those are at this one takes a little longer let's just set that 1.2 I can deal with that doing well on keto the last several days and I can tell that I'm in ketosis I got the whole keto breath going <laughs> I've not had any exogenous ketones yesterday or today so the only thing making my ketones as high is the fact that I am not consuming tons of carbs and I'm keeping my fat high okay you guys already know I am addicted to sugar I'm addicted to sweets no, I'm addicted to sugar, but I love my sweets. So, first thing in the morning, a piece of candy. Heck yeah, you know I'm all about that. The one that I'm testing, I'm sure we have already talked about in the beginning of this video. This is the Slim Fast Keto Optimal Low Carb Ketogenic Nutrition Fat Bomb. And this one is the Caramel Nut Cluster. This one just so happens to be my favorite flavor. I think there's four of them out at this point, but this one is my absolute favorite. And usually when I eat one, I only eat one. One is a serving. Um, my daughter who is 11 and she's low carb when she eats these she usually eats two or three at a time so we definitely want to test these and see what the deal is here's what they look like they look like little turtles see that does it say what the weight is uh, 0.7 ounces or 20 grams is the weight and I don't want to get chocolate everywhere because my like Quincy would get a hold of it. And anything keto does not settle well on his tummy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this and then I'm going to, you know what, let's just go ahead and pull it apart over this piece of paper. Yeah. I got a piece of paper right here. Ready? This is what we got going on. Check that out. And I'm all about the caramel people. Look, so we have nuts and that's what I'm worried about knocking me out of ketosis people because peanuts are notorious for doing that there aren't that many in here but there's enough but look at that look at that caramel yum okay so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this I'm going to enjoy it mm. these are so good I have a feeling I'm gonna be disappointed <laughs> with my results I hope not because like I said I usually eat probably one of these every other day okay just finished I mean not like that was gonna take record time or anything it was just a piece of candy time is 8 45 I will see you guys back in 30 minutes for our first test okay I'm back and it is exactly 30 minutes later can you guys see that it's 9 15 we're gonna check the blood glucose I did manage to put some makeup on and start straightening my hair so hopefully by the time you see me next I will be completely ready I've cleaned my finger washed my hands I have cleaned it with alcohol let it dry same deal as always okay now let's see where my blood glucose 
is at now. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Okay, let's recap before, you know, the next test. I started out with a fasting blood glucose of 79, and then I ate my slim fast keto fat bomb and checked my blood glucose 30 minutes later and it did go up 10 points so now it is at 89. I don't think that's a significant response. Remember at the beginning of the video we talked about anything over 30 is probably something you should eliminate from your diet or at least consider limiting. Um, so 10 points after um, fasting, I don't, I don't feel like that's bad. Now, what's going to be interesting is at the very end, at the two hour mark, to see if this knocked me out of ketosis, considering it had peanuts in it. And like I said a minute ago, peanuts are notorious for knocking people out of ketosis. And I never really thought about that until I pulled it apart, showed the caramel and all those gooey peanuts, and then it hit me. Boom. This could be ugly at the end. So we will see. I'll be back in 30 more minutes to do the one hour check and we'll see where we're at there. Then we'll do the two hour and check our ketone levels. Okay, let's check the time. If I can figure out how to work my phone. <laughs> there you go. 9.45. It's been exactly one hour. Let's go ahead and take my blood glucose and see where it's at. Let's see, is that good? 86. So we're starting to go down. You remember at the 30 minute mark, I was at 89. So now we're at 86. So obviously this is not affecting my blood glucose level. Again, what we're wanting to check now is to see at the two hour mark if this really affects my ketone levels and knocks me out of ketosis. I'm hoping not because honestly, people, I am in love with these things. They're so good. I'm back for the two hour check in. Look there, it is 10.45, exactly two hours. I am on it today, people. Okay, we are starting out with blood glucose. Already cleaned my hands. Here we go. Let's see where we're at at the two hour mark. We're we gonna be able to see. We're at 80. Okay, so now let's check ketone levels. This is going to be the true test. Ooh, let's see. I think I got it. 1.1. What? Okay, I am a little shocked because that had nuts in it. Remember peanuts? Okay, now let's go ahead and do the recap. Remember, we were testing the keto fat bombs by SlimFast in the caramel nut clusters. I started out this morning with a fasting blood glucose level of 79 and my ketone levels were 1.2. We went ahead and ate just one of these. Honestly, they're pretty rich. And when I eat them, I only eat one. It's not like I eat four or five of these. Um, they're not tiny. They're usually about this big. You saw when we went through, I showed you how big they were. And it satisfies my sweet tooth, plus gives me my fat. So this does the trick for me. Now, at 30 minutes after I ate it, I was at 89, which means I spiked only 10. Then at the one hour mark, I was at 86. So I was starting to go down. And at the two hour mark, I am almost at baseline. Remember, baseline was 79 and now I'm at 80. We took my ketone level again to see if this knocked me out of ketosis after two hours and I am at 1.1. I am so thankful, you have no idea. You have no idea. These things have been a lifesaver for me, honestly, because you guys already know that I have major struggles with sweets. And these apparently do not knock me out of ketosis or spike my blood glucose, so they're safe for me. I have not tried the other varieties as far as ketone and blood glucose testing go because these are the ones I always have in my house. If you've tried the other ones, go ahead and put it in the comments below because I want to know what your experience has been. I know as far as taste-wise, they're all good. I mean, honestly. And the ingredient list isn't horrible at all. So if you're eating these and you've tested before, let me know what your experience has been as well because of course, 
the disclaimer was we are all different we all have different experiences when it comes to food so that's why it's really important to go ahead and test your blood glucose and ketones on yourself if this is going to be a food that you incorporate into your daily life okay i'm happy it's a good day okay so that is all i have if you have a suggestion of something you would like for me to test my blood glucose and ketone on go ahead and put it in the comments i'll add that to my ever-growing list i'm trying to get to these one at a time one one a week is what i'm working for so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe bye